Wesley Virgin, your master motivator and master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. And folks, today was a glorious day just to give you a snapshot of what I did. Got up this morning, read a great book, had a couple of conference calls, had a chance to view a couple of homes, three million and above. I mean, folks, I mean, life is just going so well right now. And what I want to talk about briefly, and this is to start my series, The Law of Attraction. And how does that work? And guess what? Today we're talking about the money. I need some money in my life. Do you need some money? If you need some money, you need to hear this. And the first topic today, and I'm going to speak briefly here, is about your blueprint. Your money blueprint. And what does that mean? See, the thing is, me growing up, um, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money. You know, I didn't get the new Jordans. I got the Michael Hortons. You know, I didn't get the Guess jeans. I got the Impress jeans. I mean, I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to get all those great shoes and clothes that I wanted. You know, because we didn't have a lot of money. But see, the thing is, when we fast forward a couple of years. Um, I saw my life going up and going down. And when I say going up, I had some money. Then going down, I don't have any money. And it was so funny, it was like it was repeatedly, it was like a habitual cycle. Um, you know, life was good, everything's going well, and before you know it, repo. Before you know it, bankruptcy. Before you know it, I'm, I, I'm kicked out of my home, I'm kicked out of my apartment, you know, I'm staying with people, you know, I'm riding a bus. Wow, you know, it, it was like a spiral effect. And the thing is, I picked up a book, and I'm not going to share that book with you guys right now, but this book talked about my money blueprint. And your money blueprint are the things that you used to, and how you think about money. You know, when you were younger, uh, were your parents a saver or were they a spender? Did you have a lot or did you have a little? The thing is, what was your mentality when it came to money? Do you have savers and you have spenders? Do you have people that are frugal? And you have some people that spend lots of money. And see, the thing is, you have many millionaires out there. Hey, they save money. They save more than you. They're penny pinchers. And you have some millionaires. They spend a lot of money. Maybe they can. But see, the thing is, you need to figure out what's your blueprint. And right now, if you don't have more than 50 bucks in your bank account, if right now you don't have even a dollar in your wallet, if right now you're running on E and don't know where you're going to get the gas from, you need to... Look, you need to evaluate. You need to analyze your situation and think back. How did you think about money when you were smaller? You know, what did your parents do as it concerns money? Because once you identify and realize where this habitual or where this repeated behavior started, now you can start making changes. Now you can start certain habits to create new money. You can start creating certain habits to change your lifestyle a little bit. See, what I've noticed from a lot of people, see, during the week, you know, they're upset, they're tired, they're working, but on the weekend, I'm living for Friday, I'm living for Saturday, I'm living for that barbecue, I'm living for that party, that wedding, that club, I'm living for that mall, all the money that I made that week, now I go spin it off, and I get back on Sunday night, and I'm upset and I'm pissed off, and see, the thing is, that is a vicious cycle, and you must break that cycle, but first, folks, this is what I want you to do tonight or tomorrow. I want you to sit down and I want you to think about how did you think about money when you were younger? What did your parents, how did they think about it? See, I love my parents. They're great people. But maybe the mentality that they had when they were, when I was young, maybe I need a new mentality to live in today's time. You know, we love our parents. We love the people who raised us. But maybe the mentality they had about money isn't a mentality that I need today to be successful. So folks, I want you to write, get a sheet of paper out, do it, do it, and I want you to write down a couple of things or a couple of items talking about your blueprint. Were you savers? Were you spenders? Did you have a lot? Did you have a little? Were you poor? Were you rich? I want you to write that down. And tomorrow, I'm going to show you exactly what to do with that blueprint. Because I'm going to show you how we're going to transcend, transition that blueprint into someone. I'm going to show you how those $50 bank accounts 
are going to turn into a $500 minimum bank account. I'm going to show you how those empty wallets and those empty purses are going to fill up with some money and some credit cards or some debit cards. Money that you can actually use, money that you can actually use to spend on things that you want or that you need. I'm going to show you how to create some financial fulfillment in your life. And folks, I'm telling you, it works. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. And guess what, guys? I don't worry about money. I don't worry about my light bill. I'm not worried about when the rent's due. I'm not worried about car breakdown. I got to take a loan for money to go. I got to go to Cash Pond or whatever to get money for things that happen in my life. I have no worries when it comes to financial means. And I'm going to show you. Hey, folks, this is Wesley Virgin, your master motivator and master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. Find me tomorrow. We're going to continue our series, Get Fit With Passion.